It's beer o'clock on Real Craft Beer. Today we've got a beer from Beard Beer in Japan and it's a bottle of their Shimaguni Stout. It's 5% ABV. Uh, I don't think I've ever had a proper Japanese craft stout before so I'm looking forward to this one. Uh, it's in a 330 bottle. Uh, it's got that Beard Beer bottle cap. Look at that. Let's get the beer out into a glass and see what we get. Nice bit of smoke on the opening. Oh, it's actually... I thought it was a twist cap for a second, but it's not. Lots of smoke on the opening. Look at that smoke. Beer in the glass. Okay, it's a carbonated... Look at that. Nicely carbonated stout. One finger white head with, with definite... It's definitely a bottle condition beer. You can see that yeast there floating around in the glass. Lovely. It's a jet black stout. There's a little bit of light bleeding through. And at this stage of the review, I'd like to thank our channel sponsors, Beers, BeerDeluxe.de. Check out BeerDeluxe.de. Beer from, well, Japan and America and Italy and, of course, Germany. And, and Aust we've had some Aust Austrian craft beer. It's really been a good, good kind of matchup. Um, being our channel sponsors uh, because we get to try loads of great beer and, and we give them a little shout out in return. So yeah, beerdeluxe.de. On with the beer review, let's get the aroma on this lovely looking stout. Fruity, chocolatey. Smells quite dry. A little roasty. A little bit of coconut in there I think maybe. Smells really good. Let's dive in. Cheers. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> it's a very refreshing stout, but at the same time, it's not just refreshing. Got a lovely kind of milky, creamy mouthfeel. <clears throat> so it's a bit of a double-edged double edge sword. You can either have it in your mind as a refreshing, this is lovely, cool, um, it's a refreshing stout. Or you can kind of take the other side of the sword, which would be that lovely, creamy, mocha mouthfeel you get with this style of beer. It's nicely carbonated on the tongue, helps to push the beer around the, the inside of the mouth there, hits all of the different parts of the mouth where, where you, of course your taste buds are and your palate, so you're picking up the full kind of, full force of this beer if you like. Flavours, nice and roasty, I'm just talking about the mouthfeel now um, and the, the hit in the palate and I'm picking up a kind of a chocolatey cocoa, a little bit of tobacco smoke in there. Plummy and figgy and it's a stout. It's a really good stout and uh, yeah, as I said, it's my first. I may have had the um, Hitachino Nest beer. I think I've had a stout from them, but apparently they're a the massive brewery. I didn't realize how big they were, but this, this beard beer company from Japan are a little smaller, so we can actually call this craft beer or a craft stout if you like. A lovely beer. Nice lacing around the glass. Look at that beer washing around in the inside in, in the glass there. Lovely head retention, small bubbles, nice look to the beer, nice aroma, and a fantastic taste. Interesting interestingly, I as I mentioned about that coconut in the aroma, I do get a little bit of it in the taste, but it's more it's more on the aroma of the coconut. But rating it, I really like this, it's a lovely stout. I'm gonna rate it, I'm gonna give it an eight out of 10. It's an eight out of 10 from Real Craft Beer. Put your comments in the comments box. Please subscribe to our daily beer reviews and cheers.